Hello and welcome to the Titus Timeout podcast. I'm Jenny Abney Civi, and today we're going to answer a question we get quite often. How do you get the performance data for grills that are not cataloged? So let's start by bringing up a page from our catalog that shows the 300, 350 grill performance data. Okay, let's move this over to the side a little bit. I'll zoom in as needed. So let's say you want to know the performance for a 42 by 14 grill at 2000 CFM. So this size isn't cataloged. You can see there's a 42 by 18, but no 42 by 14. So let's zoom back out. So here's what you do to get your data. Multiply the nominal duct height by the width to get the nominal duct area. 42 times 14 is 588 square inches. Divide that by 144 to get 4.08 square feet. Now find a grill that has the closest nominal duct area, which would be this one right here, which is 4.0 square feet. Now find the airflow closest to 2,000 CFM. In this case, it's about halfway between 1875 and 2250 CFM. So the throw would be about halfway between these two throws. So halfway between those two throws would be 40 at 150 feet per minute, 59 at 100, and 84 at 50 feet per minute. The sound would also be about halfway between the NC-22 and the NC-28 of those two points, so about an NC-25. So that was pretty easy. This would be the performance of the 42 by 14 grill. So now let's look at what you do if you need an oversized grill and doesn't have catalog performance data. We catalog up to 48 by 48 inch grills. But let's say you need a 60 by 60 grill at 12,000 CFM. What you need to do is basically cut the grill in half until you come up with a size that is cataloged. So if you take the 60 by 60 and call it a 60 by 30, it's still too large for the catalog. So let's go down to 30 by 30, and this is cataloged. And it's right here. Since you cut it in half twice, you want to divide the CFM by 4, and you get 3,000 CFM. So we'll use the 2970 CFM data. So now you use an adjustment factor of 1.4 to determine the throw. Since you cut the grill in half twice, you need to multiply 1.4 times 1.4, and that is 1.96, we're going to call it 2. So the throw of the 60 by 60 grill will be 2 times the throw of this 30 by 30 grill. So the 30 by 30 is 46, 69, 100, so the throw of the 60 by 60 will be 98 at 150 feet per minute, 138 at 100, and 200 at 50 feet per minute. For the sound of the oversized grill, it's a good rule of thumb to add 3 NC for each time you split the grill, so 24 NC is the cataloged 30 by 30 sound data. Add 3 to that twice, and you get NC 30. So the performance of your 60 by 60 grill is shown here. So there you go. Now you know how to estimate the data of grill sizes that are not shown in the catalog. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and thanks for taking a time out with us.